The Wife showcases a superb role for Glenn Close, who, since she played a cross-dresser in Albert Nobbs, hasn't been seen much on our screens lately. Several of her recent films don't appear to have made it to Australia, and one that did, the Agatha Christie mystery Crooked House, was withheld from reviewers by its distributor, despite the fact that it proved to be rather better than might have been expected. So it's almost as though Glenn Close deserves to be welcomed back after a long absence and with a meaty and multi-layered role that gives her every opportunity to remind us of her considerable talents as an actor. Based on the 2003 novel by Meg Wallitzer, the wife seems at first to be more about the husband. He is Joe Castleman, Jonathan Price, an American novelist awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. The year is 1992, and the announcement is naturally a cause for celebration by the Castlemans, their family and friends. The couple have two children, Susanna, Alex Wilton Regan, who is pregnant, and David, Max Irons, the son of actor Jeremy Irons. David has ambitions to follow in his father's footsteps and has written his first novel, which has received praise from his mother, Joan, that's Glenn Close, of course, but has been met with indifference by Joe. But has Joe even bothered to read it? Joe is a totally self-centred egoist. Everything revolves around him. Throughout his life, he's also been a serial womaniser, which is one reason that he's not enthusiastic about the prospect of a tell-all biography being written by Nathaniel Bone, Christian Slater, a snarky journalist. Flashbacks covering the years 1958 to 1962 reveal that Joan, played as a young woman by Annie Stark, had been a naive and eager student of Joe, Harry Lloyd, who at the time was a married professor of creative writing. Given the man's character, it's interesting that his second marriage to Joan has lasted as long as it has. The Castlemans fly first class to Stockholm to prepare for the awards ceremony. Bone tags along, hoping to confirm some of his suspicions about the famous author. The Nobel authorities assign attractive linear Karen Franz Korloff to be Joe's guide and interpreter, and it's not long before he's up to his old tricks with a woman young enough to be his granddaughter. The last time I think there was a movie about an American receiving the Nobel Prize was in 1963, when Paul Newman starred in The Prize, a Hitchcockian thriller about an American scientist who disappears in Stockholm before his prize is presented. The Wife, a co-production between the US and Sweden, is much more down-to-earth about the behind-the-scenes Nobel procedures, perhaps because the film's director, Bjorn L. Runge, is himself Swedish. The narrative here follows a fairly predictable arc, but as the title indicates, this portrait of a woman who has unjustly been consigned to the sidelines, while her famous husband basks in the glory of his apparent achievements, is filled with nuance, and Close, for once given a very meaty role, rises to the occasion with distinction. I'm giving the wife three and a half stars.